Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel and today we have got a title match. A title match between a pair of green Grant boxing gloves. These are 14 ounce. These particular gloves recently beat a pair of Sabas Prime in a title eliminator to get them into this position. Now what I will say straight away is these are a pair of used pair of gloves. I will judge them as if they were a new pair of gloves uh, but obviously the fact that they are sort of used that gives uh, more and more evidence for the fact that in the rounds like for stitching and quality and durability of how well these gloves stand up. So uh, I will be judging it on an equal playing, playing field. And then we come on to the fit to box current lace-up champion, the title holder. This is the Fly Super Lace. This is a 16 ounce glove and it is absolutely superb. Um, in terms of the fact that this is a 16 and this is a 14, again, I'm going to be judging it on that. I won't be sort of pitching saying this one's got more padding than this one because this is a slightly bigger glove. I do know uh, what padding is like on the different types of glove and the different sizes, so it will be a fair contest. I have taken that into consideration when I've done the scoring. So, let's crack on. Uh, 12 rounds over all the different parts and, and features of the gloves. 10 points for the winner of each round. Some rounds will be a 10-10. 9 points for the loser of a round. If there is a round where there is a significant difference, it will be a 10-8 round or even a 10-7 round. Exactly the same as in boxing when you get a knockdown or two and that is how I pitch the scoring. So we're going to start off and here we go. The Fly Super Lace, the champion against the Green Grant Boxing Glove. This is a top, top matchup between two top uh, boxing brands. Um, this is a super fight, it really is. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this as we go through round one and we are talking brand. <coughs> brand of Grant, the undisputed boxing glove brand. Founded in 1995 in New York City, they are the world premier brand when it comes to big fights and high profile. Even their, uh, their owner, Elvis Grant, is a high profile guy. If you look on YouTube, you'll see quite a few of his videos where he's talking about gloves and situations. So check them out, as I say, Elvis Grant, owner of Grant Boxing Gloves. Then we come on to the Fly. And the Fly, they are handmade in England. Uh, owner Josh Stephan is also the master craftsman behind these gloves. Okay, they are a boutique brand. More and more professionals are using them. Connor Ben, Cal Brook, David Hay, and Anthony Joshua as well have all had um, fly gear. All I have seen pictures of uh, in fly gear. You've also got the McDonald brothers as well who have. Uh, used fly equipment. So you will see more and more professionals using these. Okay, now in terms of brand, I have to acknowledge that the Grant is a juggernaut when it comes to brand. And they have been around a lot longer than the Fly, which is a relatively new brand. And so for that reason, I'm going to give it 10 points in round one for the Grant glove. I am going to give it eight points to the fly and the reason I'm giving it eight points is not because the brand is not very good it's not because the branding isn't very good because it is uh, it is only because it is being pitched in this round against the most recognizable boxing brand and I do think that that does count for a lot and I have to say you know your average boxing fan they would instantly recognize this um, and would be your more astute boxing fan who would be familiar with fly boxing. So 10-8 in round one, brand. Round two, wrist. <coughs> the wrist, that triple padding, thick padding there on the back 
of the grant gloves and then over the front again some thick padding on either side and then you've got that lace in the middle the indicator there at the bottom which tells you that it's a 14 ounce glove so the wrist on the grants is very very good also very good is it doesn't look thick but actually that padding at the back there is thick it looks sort of flat but it is thick when you actually press it again you've got that uh, indicator there which is the 16 that is there but that is thickly padded I do like that stitching there which is the little crossover on the super lace and I do like the way that you can track the laces across that coming round to the front again we've got some nice padding either side of the laces I can't split them in this round I think they're both excellent wrist protection round two wrist is a 10 10 round round three thumb the grant glove has got that split color thumb really nice design come around there and show you around that thumb now what I will say is that that padding when you put that glove on the padding at the top does press like there does press on the tip of my thumb and also the base of the thumb there is a little bit more uncomfortable okay so I will point that out you know I have got quite long thumbs so that may not be an issue for you but for me at the top there and at the base they are more uncomfortable than the thumb which is on the fly glove which is a long comfortable thumb there in the matte grey turn that round there you've got the attachment and that there so in my opinion round three is ten to the fly super lace and it is nine to the grant boxing glove then we come on to round four face of the glove on the, on the grant you've got that famous split colours that grant do in the green and the white they are that that is copied by many um, but bettered by few grant do their split colors very very well when it comes to the face of the glove for the fly there's a soft grip bar there they've got some nice padding on the front to there either side of the laces and in that matte black with the gray leather they are superb round four is a 10 10 round Round five, and we're coming to knuckle area. On the grant, this is a used glove, but you can see, you can see the cracks on the leather, but they're not like they're not too bad considering how much it's been used. Uh, the padding is still excellent, really, really good padding. So the fact that it's a used glove uh, and is used, but this one's been used more than that one actually enhances this round for this glove because it just shows you that that padding is not breaking down I have used this one extensively as well in sparring and so the knuckle area it's a flatter padding on there a flatter padding than the Grant gloves but it's still a great padding and for that reason again <clears throat> round five I can't split them it's a 10-10 round round six stitching okay the used glove the stitching is holding up very very well as I bring that round to you can see how well that glove is holding up I mean that has got years left of it years and years it is made so well and the stitching plays such a vital part in that uh, round six stitching for the fly again on here I've mentioned before in other videos the exquisite exquisite stitching that is the fly super lace and I bring that round really is nice and I bring that that side as well so you can see how good the stitching is round six <clears throat> it's a close contest this one 10 10 I can't split them again round seven quality and durability there's a few scuffs and cracks as I've said before 
years left in this glove so that has got to be a 10. I have used this one as I've said for many many rounds of sparring it looks brand new and I've used it a lot considering okay but that is again down to these gloves are so well made round seven quality and durability 10 10 okay when it comes to round eight comfort now I do prefer the feel of a winning glove okay I think that a winning glove is more comfortable and grants are very different when it comes to how they feel when you put your hands in the glove so for that reason and it is a personal preference and not everyone will be the same and I acknowledge that but for that reason I am going to give this round as a 9 for the grants when I put the super lace on the comfort in these is wonderful absolutely wonderful um, I can open up in both which is fine but as, in terms of comfort this one does have the edge for me and that is a 10 9 round round 8 comfort round 9 style Grand Badge gives you that an instant advantage when it comes to style the split colours again a classic uh, when it comes to style in a glove really do look good and then you've got this one the beautiful elegant understated style of the fly boxing glove there in matte black matte grey beautifully stitched we topped off with that silver badge style is a 10 10 round both of these companies make super super stylish gloves round 10 protection again both of these gloves offer thick padding in the vital areas the knuckle the thumbs and the wrist and both of these gloves will really protect your hands whether you're using them on the bags or whether you're using them in sparring this round round 10 is a 10 10 round performance of the glove I've used both of these gloves in sparring they both perform brilliantly in sparring and either of these gloves you could confidently wear in your sparring for years to come and also from the style point of view uh, you would have uh, uh, some envious looks as you were wearing these gloves as well both of them do stand out uh, when you're in the ring so performance of the glove for both of these both enable you to open the hands and catch the shots which as you know I like both offer great protection and both look the business in there as well so we have a 10 10 round round 11 performance of the glove then we come on to the final round and final round is round 12 value for money okay this pair here even though they're sort of used and they're the older version this pair will still sell for 250 to 300 pounds in this condition um, the new grants you are looking at 400 450 plus um, they're only available on uh, Grant's Facebook page, Grant Worldwide, uh, but you know they do do some fantastic designs. A lot of people are put off by the hundreds and hundreds of pounds that you have to spend to get a pair of Grant gloves. Um, I think like a few years ago they were £199 I remember uh, from uh, a company was stocking them called Fight Outlet. Um, and they had the gloves there and they will say as I say it's not been that long ago really and it was £200 because the prices have rocketed since then then I do think that this round for the grants is a nine round um, because of that I'm not doubting how good the gloves are I'm not doubting how stylish they are but you know, I have to acknowledge that you know some of these gloves that you, when they're like five six hundred seven hundred pounds that is a hell of a lot of money to put on your hands as a boxing glove then we come on to these gloves here the fly and the super lace I mean they've got like a tiered um, price scale so 12 ounce are 295 14 ounce are 305 these are 16 ounce these are 315 pounds and then they go right up to 
18 ounce pair costs you 325 and a 20 ounce pair will cost you 335 pounds you can get those from flysportsuk.com um, this round I am giving it a 10 points for the fly because as I say many people would say that this was an expensive glove as well and it is but in terms of how long it will last you it will last you for well it could last you a lifetime to be honest it will last you a long long time and that's where the value for money comes in it's the same for both of these gloves so many gloves out there that you find that you use and then you know a year well sometimes a few months uh, six months 12 months two years suddenly you've got to buy yourself some new gloves if you treat both of these gloves correctly they will both last you years and that is what you're paying for uh, on the on the outset so let's just confirm that last round 10 points to the fly nine points to the grant and that brings us to the end of this fit to box lace up title challenge so after all those rounds i have got a decision for you added up all the scores from those 12 rounds we've covered everything and the scores are as follows 118 points to 117 points and still the fit to box lace up champion the fly super lace by one point 118 to 117 that was a super close contest it really was both of these gloves are excellent hence why it was so close but we still have a champion that retains their title the fly super lace boxing glove the rain continues thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to fit to box channel